Hello everyone, welcome to this brand new lesson and today I am going to show you how you can install PyTorch in your computer. I will be showing you both method that means how you can install this PyTorch for your GPU and if you don't have a GPU in your computer, not to worry, you can install without any GPU in your computer. Alright, now let's go ahead and uh, see this URL, you need to visit here pytorch.org, get started locally and thereafter you need to you, you need to select here which version you want. This preview is a development version, this one is the production one. Select your operating system, I'm going to show you for a Windows machine and the package I'm going to show you with the Conda. If you don't have Anaconda installed in your computer, you can select here a PP version Otherwise, I'm going to select here the Conda and thereafter, I'm going to select here the Python language and I have a CUDA version 10.1. You can verify this CUDA version. If you have a CUDA version, otherwise select there none. And I have a CUDA, that's mean I have a GPU in my computer and the CUDA version for my GPU, I have a 10.1. So for that, you need to visit there in uh, your C directory. Thereafter, there is a program file and then see this NVIDIA GPU computing toolkit. There is, you have CUDA and then you will be having their version. So currently I have here 10.1 version and uh, that's what I'm going to select it here. Thereafter, you need to simply copy it. So the benefit of installing this PyTorch with the Conda, the Conda will automatically install all the dependencies and uh, you don't need to install dependencies separately. And thereafter, open your Anaconda in administrator mode, which I have already opened here. And then you need to paste it. Uh, it it's the same thing which we had just copied from here. We need to actually uh, copy it here and then paste it here. Let's go ahead and run it. All right. So one more thing I should tell you that PyTorch do not support Python 2. It only supports Python 3. So it's always good to use only Python 3 for a PyTorch. All right. So we are going to wait for some time so that it can install it on our computer. So it's asking that it want to install all these dependencies along with that. And then I'm going to select yes, install the PyTorch along with all other dependencies. If there is anything to update, update all those things. So that's the beauty if you install it with Conda. There I'm going to select yes and thereafter it will install the downloading this CUDA toolkit uh, because it want to upgrade it. So let it be upgraded. Thereafter it will install the PyTorch. Depending on your internet speed, it depends how much time it is going to take. If you have a fast internet speed, it can do in just a few seconds or a few minutes to install. If your internet is slow, then it might take some time. Let's go ahead and wait so that it can install all these uh, around one gigabyte of PyTorch. All right, installation is successfully done. Now the time to test it. So we can test it with the Python. So Anaconda is already installed, so obviously the Python is installed there. And I have a Python 3.6 in my computer. Let's go ahead and import the torch here. So there I'm going to import this torch. And it's going to successfully import. That's mean torch is already installed. And then we will do a little operation with the torch to test it. Is it working properly or not? All right, so this is the first time importing. So there is a lot of initialization going on behind the scene. That's why it took a little time. Thereafter, I'm saying here x is equal to torch dot random number. And then I'm going to say here with the 53. Okay, run it. And then I say here print x. And successfully it has run. That's mean a torch is working properly. Now the time to test whether GPU is available or not. So we have a torch already installed, torch.cuda and uh, there I have a CUDA. If you press a tab, you will get all these suggestions. Thereafter, you have each 
available all right let's go ahead and run it if cuda is available it's gonna say yes cuda is available in my computer so it says that yes cuda is available for our pytorch that's mean our pytorch can use gpu now let's go ahead and uh, explore it a little more what type of gpu and how many gpu is available so the simply you can say here like this either you can use print or not it, it's gonna work there so you can say there the torch dot q dot thereafter i'm gonna say here this device count all right let's go ahead and run it it says that there is one gpu available in my computer and thereafter i'm gonna print here the name of a gpu so it's a simple there it says that the torch q dot dot get device name and thereafter i say here the torch dot q dot dot current device name all right perfect let's go ahead and run this and perhaps i think there is one extra superb so it says that currently i have a gpu geforce rtx 206 2060 install in my computer so you have successfully tested your pytorch is installed in your computer and it is using gpu and congratulations now you are ready to use your pytorch with a gpu on your windows machine thanks a lot for watching it i'll see you next lesson